Okay, cool. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, we can get go ahead and get started here. Uh, my name is uh, Ishmael. I'm a sales development rep here over at 3Kit. Um, very excited for this opportunity to one, meet you all, and two, um, take you, give you a bit of a deeper dive into um, 3Kit's Shopify, uh, 3Kit's integration with Shopify and um, how we can help maximize that. Um, I'm also joined by uh, Will Thompson, a demo engineer here. So about halfway through, he's going to be taking over and taking you through a couple of live um, customers we've got here. So again, very excited and uh, let's get started here. So, you know, when we're talking about 3D configuration, I think it's very important that uh, we talk about why this trend is happening and how it all came about. It starts with what has our attention nowadays. Take a look at the apps on your phone. You've got Instagram, you've got Facebook, and either now or definitely in a few months, the way this trend's heading, but uh, TikTok. Um, and we are all attracted to these apps because of the visually immersive experiences that they bring. So let's focus on your online shopper. We have to realize that their expectation for a visually immersive experience does not change when they log off that app and visit your e-commerce site. This trend is highlighted on our next slide. And a recent survey found that 83% of buyers pointed to not reviews or star ratings, but product images as most influential to their purchase decision. Photos are becoming more important. And another eye-opening statistic was one conducted in 2016, stating that the average online shopper expected only three images per product. When this survey was reevaluated in 2018, that number had more than doubled to eight. These photography micro trends do not even begin to paint a picture of where this macro trend is heading. These are just a couple of headlines from major retail publications, as well as a big announcement coming from Apple and a recent advancement with Shopify that was part of the inspiration for this chat. So this visual trend is expanding rapidly and yes, Images are nice, but we now uh, must take 3D into account. When you see such large brands expending resources to make advancements to their products to support these features, you know that something is to come. All of these advancements are highlighted in our next slide, focusing on the experience expected by today's sophisticated online shopper. Customer experience. Those two words are always thrown around to show you how show off how in you are with all the changes happening. But jokes aside, we actually have to look at the experience uh, you have to provide to today's buyer in order to win them over. A recent survey conducted by Forrester found that according to 63% of consumers, a better customer experience involves visualization tools. And a main driver in those visualization tools is 360 product views or 3D models. And the results are there. According to global fashion brand, Rebecca Minkoff, visitors who interacted with a 3D model on their site were 44% more likely to add a product to their cart and 27% more likely to place an order than visitors who didn't. So now the question begs, how do we make our products 3D? Well, in the next slide, we will touch on how Shopify makes it easy for 3Kit to become your product catalog's 3D engine. So, the headlines were there a couple of slides back, highlighted with Shopify's recent advancement allowing native support for 3D, which is great if you have a couple of products with limited combinations. Shopify makes it easy for you to directly upload those files to your product page. The problem is you actually have to have 3D files on hand. And if your products are configurable, it would not be worth the money to have 3D files on hand. And I'm sorry, it would not be worth the money to have a 3D artist sketch up a single model for every single different combination. Plus, let's not forget to mention new product launches. This is where 3Kit comes in. We would be the 3D engine for your product catalog by utilizing our platform to dynamically render every single combination of your product online for your customer in real time while they are on your products page. No need to hire a 3D artist to render each individual product in 50 different combinations. Just provide us with the, what the base product looks like 
and then we're going to feed each different color, size, fitting, uh, permutation into 3Kit, and that's when it really gets to work. So we'll take you through a few live Shopify customers in the next few, few slides to show you how it all comes together. So first up, Modari, they are a toy company based in the West Coast. They came to us after noticing an issue. What they saw was they had a very high conversion rate at trade shows where the customers could actually interact with their cars in person. That prompted them to see this conversion rate severely decreased when the same shopper was online and they only had a couple of photographs to show. Over the next few minutes, uh, Will's gonna take over. He's gonna take you through um, the new experience that 3Kit was able to provide. So Will, take it away. Awesome, thanks Ishmael. Great. Um, so like Ishmael said, my name is was Will Thompson. I am a member of the solution engineering team here at 3Kit. I'm a demo engineer. Um, so to dive into our first demo, like Ishmael said, we're gonna talk a little bit about Modari. Modari is a, uh, a toy car manufacturer. Um, something I'd like to note before we get too deep into this uh, experience is that this implementation um, is used for a web uh, experience like we're showing you now, um, but it's also used in Walmart stores on iPads. So this, um, this UI in particular is very mobile friendly. Everything 3Kit does is, is mobile ready. Um, but just wanted to point out that you can kind of tell how this would uh, play out on an on a iPad in a store. Uh, okay, great. So moving on. Um, Modari's target market, um, they're children for the most part, right? They're toys. Um, they sell toys. So their target market is children. Um, and an interesting challenge that Modari faced um, when coming to us is um, their target market can't necessarily read. So how can we provide an experience that, uh, you know, is translatable or transcends language. Um, so we need uh, to build a configurator that uh, it explains itself. It's self-explanatory, right? So everything that I'm clicking on, all the, all the bits that I'm changing and navigating, um, you can tell what they are just by taking a look. Um, even though this car doesn't look like uh, any cars you see on the road today, um, just being here on this main panel, you can see, okay, I have my exterior shells, um, you know, my wheels and tires, um, and it really just paints uh, a vivid picture of how this configurator uh, is supposed to work. Uh, I'm just gonna make a couple more changes here just so we can show you a finished product. I'll throw some red in here. Um, and we're gonna get all the way to the finish line here. I'm gonna name my car. This will be Will's Whip. And great, so it's a, only a four or five step configurator. Um, but here at the end, you kind of have a celebration uh, for your configuration, right? So this is my car that I configured. My whip is ready. Um, it's giving me a, a detailed look just automatically. Um, and now we have these call to actions here too. And these are specific to Modari here, but obviously you can have any call to action. Even if it's a traditional, just add to cart. You can do that. Um, you can go all the way to the order form, um, or you can share this car as well as it's configured. So if I want to share this, car to my brother um, to make sure that it fits his nephew's, uh, you know, requirements for this holiday season. Uh, I can easily do that and make any adjustments that I may need. Um, so that's all I have to show you for Madari. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you uh, how this visual configuration experience um, extends beyond just the, the purchasing um, or the, the configuration rather. It extends all the way to the, the completing of the shopping um, experience. Um, and one other thing too, before I hand it back to Ishmael that I'd like to point out about Madari uh, in particular, um, when they um, came to uh, Walmart with this configuration, they were wanting to get into Walmart stores. Um, they were uh, a step ahead of other competition with this configurator um, to get that valuable shelf space. Um, it was easier for them to negotiate um, how to get, uh, you know, displays with this rich um, experience. It just draws a lot of attention to Madari in particular. So with that, I will hand it back to Ishmael and we'll keep going. Cool. Thanks, Will. Yeah, no, it's, it's super interesting when you think about um, how it's way more than just the 3D configuration. It's that total experience we're able to provide. Um, but again, thank you. So next up, we've got Bamford Watches. 
Um, this is a UK based luxury watch supplier. Um, and they partner with well-known brands like Tag Heuer, uh, Bulgari, and utilizing three kit, they were actually able to accomplish a very neat goal that uh, Will's gonna outline for you a little bit further as he um, takes you through their site. All right, so here we go. Um, I kind of wanted to uh, make a reference back um, to something Ishmael mentioned earlier in that um, shoppers expected three images uh, just a couple years ago and now they expect eight. Um, and when it comes to a brand like Bamford, uh, visualizing a catalog that is so customizable and person, uh, personizable, it was a, a huge issue for them. Um, not only did uh, you know, they have such a huge number of potential combinations, um, but there's a chance that whatever I configure at the end of this um, you know, process may never have been built before. Um, so with that, I just wanted to dive in. Uh, and kind of show you this particular configurator uh, and tell you a little bit more about Bamford. So as you can see, I'm just making some smaller changes here um, along the band, um, but everything on this watch is configurable. Um, the band colors, the band fabric, um, the face, the dials, the hands, the options just go on and on. Um, and like I said before, if you even want to engrave your initials, my W is right there, it might be small over Zoom, but um, you can even do that as well. So um, what does that mean for, for Bamford? Um, well, one thing that it means is when you configure a watch um, all the way through to the end of this process, if we go to the checkout, um, we help Bamford sell the quote unquote odd combinations. Um, combinations that may be unlikely to sell uh, either in a store or online. So for instance, if I was gonna go blue and pink, um, maybe a hard sell in a, in a mall or you know, a jewelry store or even online if this was a, a photograph product. Um, but if I'm the boss and I can figure this watch, uh, it's up to me. So you can sell this um, for an increased price. Whereas if you try to sell this online for you know, an in-stock combination, uh, it may not be that desirable. Um, and on the flip side of that, if I um, configure something a little more um, straightforward, here we go, maybe a watch like this. Um, this is a, a personalized watch now. Um, let me take my initials off just for the sake of this argument. So here I have a black rubber, uh, black face with some white dials. Um, technically, this is a, uh, a personalized watch. If I checked out with this, I would be charged a, a personalized fee. Um, but if I go to their catalog, this product may already be there uh, and be in inventory. So for Bamford, um, it's an opportunity to sell odd combinations as well as, um, you know, make additional revenue from the combinations that they already have in stock uh, and are popular already. So with that, I'll hand it back to Ishmael. Awesome. Thank you again, Will. And um, specific with Bamford, what, what they were able to accomplish utilizing TreeKit was really simplifying that process for personalization. And um, it's, you, you can't hide the fact that you know, a customer is willing to pay more, pay a premium for a personalized product. And utilizing TreeKit, you're able to enable that revenue stream without actually having to manufacture any of those combinations beforehand. Just upload what those colors are, upload what those materials are into TreeKit, and allow it to be manufactured, you know, through your website um, in real time for your customer. Um, but with that, I'd like to, you know, jump into another use case here. And um, with 3Kit, we are a Chicago-based company and we love to represent our local small businesses. Uh, specifically in this case, we have Hangout Lighting. And um, the reason I wanted to call them out is they show you that you don't have to be a large chain or worldwide brand to utilize this sort of technology. They, they do have a very nice presence uh, here in the US, but they only have one showroom. And uh, utilizing our technology, they are able to um, showcase their design your own feature that they typically offered in store online for their customers nationwide. So Will, um, let's jump into that design your own feature. Awesome, thank you. Um, so like Ishmael said, this is a Chicago brand and um, they have a Chicago showroom. Um, and not only is it a showroom, but um, they do have a unique experience there. Um, you know, as, as showrooms do, there's their own unique uh, style and, and 
experience in the store that's hard to replicate online, especially um, when there's not a lot of visuals to go with them. Um, and again, like uh, you, you heard in a couple of the other examples that we talked about earlier, um, you know, there's a chance that because there are so many different options um, that whatever I configure may not have been sold before. Um, you know, not that it's not a, an attractive combination, just that I have a, a different perspective that, than the last buyer. And it's near impossible to visualize things that don't exist. Um, so that's why technology like this really, um, really comes into play, uh, especially in, in something like hangout lighting. So this is just one of the experiences I wanted to show. They do have a couple other, um, well, they have a lot of other configurators on their website. Um, you know, not, this isn't the only lighting fixture they sell, but it's just the one I chose, um, the 35 by nine. So just wanted to start there uh, before moving on. So um, we're just going to, select a couple of um, couple options here just to show you what their configurator looks like um, and we'll have a fully configured thing by the end but one thing that I wanted to point out um, is that all the um, you know purchasing experiences that we've shown you today they all have very different UIs um, you know uh, Modari for instance is, is a mobile first um, you know configurator with no text uh, whereas this, there's a lot of text, um, still a lot of visuals, uh, pictures for these thumbnails, but um, it's a very clean, very modern layout. Uh, and I just wanted to show you that, um, you know, whatever uh, existing theme or, or um, you know, color combination or whatever you have on your site, um, we can build around that and we implement into your existing experience. Um, this is supposed to enhance what you already have and not, you know, take over or, um, you know, totally throw a wrench in anything that you're doing. Um, and I'm zooming in here to the core just to show you the, the kind of level of detail that this um, real-time 3D experience has. A lot of different um, cord types, um, you know, just there's a, a big difference between the twisted and the braided and, and the round cords. Um, and there's just a lot of different detail that you can paint here um, in this one configurator. So again, here's our cord types. I'm just gonna make some option changes here just to show you what our chandelier will look like and we can get to the very end. There's so many options here. Hangout lighting does a really cool job of um, doing these really cool um, lighting fixtures that you don't really see in a lot of different places. Um, there's just so many different looks that you can achieve with, with what they have. It's a lot of fun. Um, so what I wanted to get to at the end here was the save as a PNG again, or the save as a link. Um, 3Kit is a very powerful tool uh, for your shopping experiences, but it's a collaborative tool as well. So if I wanted to share this to uh, my girlfriend and make sure that the light fixture I configure would look good in our kitchen, it's no problem. I can send her the link and she can take a look as well. Um, or we can save as a picture as well. There's just so many options that we can do here on the end, um, in addition just to adding to the cart. Um, so that was one more 3D experience that I wanted to show you, um, a little different than the other ones that we've seen today. Um, but that's all for the live demos. I'll hand it back to Ishmael now and we'll wrap things up. Awesome. Thank you, Will. So uh, just to tell you all a little bit about the people behind this software, we have to go way back to 2005 uh, in sunny Hollywood. This is in fact where our software started in, in providing high quality 3D rendering for blockbuster films. Once our founder, now CTO Ben Houston, caught a wind of the shift happening in e-commerce and more specifically when a few large brands approached him, he decided to shift all of his focus from Hollywood to e-commerce and provide that same cutting edge technology to brands across, uh, brands across the globe, leading us to becoming the um, global visualization leader now here in 2020. And these are just a few brands who trust us and being their experts in visualization. So you're not gonna be alone in this journey. With that, um, I see some questions coming up here in chat. Um, Let's go ahead, open up the floor. Feel free if anyone has any questions, um, just unmute yourself and ask away. Okay, well, perfect. Well, hey, we appreciate everyone's uh, time here today. Um, and we hope you all have a great rest of your week, rest of your evening. I'll be following up with an email and as well, a recording will be shared in a few days as well. But with that, um, I guess it's time for us to sign off. Thank you again for everyone for joining. Thanks everybody.